Ben Rhodes couldn't have scripted a better start to the 2021 NASCAR Truck Series season. He won the season opening race at Daytona and followed it up a week later, winning on the road course. Just a couple of weeks into the young season and the Thor Sport racing driver had already achieved a career best for most wins in a single year and locked himself into the playoffs. It was a precursor of things to come. Rhodes' hot start transitioned into a year of consistency, which included a second place finish at Darlington and at the first ever dirt race at Bristol, where he pursued eventual race winner and 2017 Cup Series champion Martin Truex Jr. for dozens of laps. While 2021 turned out to be a memorable year in NASCAR for the 24-year-old driver, it was made even more special in June when Rhodes made his Cup Series debut at Sonoma with Spire Motorsports. When the playoffs started at Gateway in late August, Rhodes started strong with a third-place finish before he came crashing back down to earth. His runner-up finish at Darlington in the spring was a distant memory when he struggled from the start and earned a career-worst 34th place finish. Despite that disaster, he managed to survive and advance through each round of the playoffs into the championship four race at Phoenix. In the final test of the season, the number 99 was dominant for most of the race, only to see it seemingly slip away when he fell behind Zane Smith in the final stage. Rhodes showed his medal with nine laps to go when he pulled off a champion's move with a deft bump and run before racing his way to his first ever title. Rhodes, his team, and fans were understandably ecstatic. The young driver gained a whole new set of fans immediately after the race when he capped off a memorable season by delivering one of the most memorable press conferences in sports history, courtesy of Bud Light and plenty of celebratory champagne. Looking back, the history books will show 2021 was very good to Ben Rhodes. Most experts expect much of the same from the driver of the number 99 in 2022, and his fans are hoping it concludes the same way, including what Rhodes himself described as the best conference ever.